adjust the springs to the tension of the strings. Right here on top is, is our string adjustment. And we can adjust that spring directly from the top to make that work. And simply by turning it clockwise, it makes it harder. By turning it counterclockwise, it releases it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're just going to take a look at this, and uh, we're going to make adjustments on the springs, because all the string sizes are completely different, and whether you have a four or five, a six, seven, or eight string uh, bass tremolo, um, all the poundage is different. So the springs have to be adjusted, and all the spring adjustment is done directly from the top right here. In this case, we have four springs, so we have two different spring adjustments. And these two different spring adjustments are going to be here and here. And as we adjust it clockwise, we're going to tighten the springs, therefore making, it, making the strings tighter, or we're going to turn them counterclockwise and loosen it up. That will de determine what, what strength of strings you have on and how many pounds it's going to take to offset the strings. So you got the adjustments totally from the top. Okay. The other thing is that if when you have a six string or five string or four or five string, again, I want to point out, we have double armholes on each side. And this one for the left-hander here or the right-hander there. So that's the way, way that works out. And now, now we're going to look at the locking mechanism for the whole tremolo. This tremolo, all of our bass tremolos can become a fixed tremolo as well as a tremolo tremolo. So that if you don't want the tremolo bar, you can fix it. All we have to do here is unlock this tremolo and we'll get it here so we can see it. Right here on the side, we simply unlock it. and it becomes a tremolo, just like as such. Now, or we can lock it. And it's a fixed bridge. Being a fixed bridge, play it without the tremolo arm, which is what we, we discussed on all of the Kaler products. So now we have a fixed bridge with, without the tremolo arm. And that's important for those folks that guitar to play in tremolo or guitar to play in fixed bridge. You can have it either way or the other. Right there. So in conclusion, I'll do a complete review of the line. And the review of the line simply starts out with the fact that we have a four string tremolo. We'll just say that that's four string tremolo right there. And the four string can turn into a five string. So we have a four string in wide spacing or a five string in closed spacing. The next one would be a five string in wide spacing or a six string in closed spacing. And then, of course, for you folks that are playing the big stuff, you can have a seven or an eight string tremolo right here. Uh, in review, that's what that, uh, those are the different products we make. Now, not only do we make them in a professional series, we make them in professional series of the 2400 series, make them in the hybrid series of the 7400 series, and then we have the 4400 series, Xtrem series, that is sold exclusively in Southeast Asia. And what we have is a four string, and if you'll notice, that does not have the moving rail here. So it's a fixed four string, but the saddles can be moved. Therefore, you can line up the strings with the edge of the fingerboard. 
It's moved in exactly the same way that I showed you as the rail cam did. And we also sell a five string, called an X-Trim five string in the 4000 series. And that's about the complete review of our base um, product. Um, um, so if you'd like, please visit our website at www.kaylorusa.com. See you there. Thank you.